Welcome back to Vision Auto Garage. Today's a big day for the mid-engine Metro project. I've picked up the Audi TT 1.8 turbo engine and gearbox and I'm fitting it to the MG TF subframe. The seller generously included the stock intercoolers, intake pipes, turbo downpipe, drive shafts and ECU. How much of this I will use remains to be seen, but it's always good to have OEM parts to hand. Straight out the bat, let's see how this engine fits. It's clear that the motor needs to go on a little diet. The immediately obvious bulk is the auxiliary items, power steering pump, AC pump and alternator. I haven't checked, but I don't think the auxiliary belt routing here is correct. There's not enough contact on the AC pulley. Either way, it's cut off. Removing the engine mount gives me better access for power tools, so it's pulled off, followed by the belt tensioner, alternator, AC compressor, external water pump, power steering pump, pipework and the entire auxiliary bracket.
Next up, I remove the drive shaft guard from the Quattro transfer box and the gearbox mount before hoisting the engine back into the subframe. The fit is definitely better, but there's still work to be done. For starters, this massive oil filter is hitting the subframe, and the subframe exhaust hanger and engine steady bracket are in the way. The exhaust hanger is not going to be needed, so it's swiftly removed. I'll fabricate an engine steady to suit once the main mounts are made, so the K-series one is removed. Once more into the breach, this time the fit is remarkably good. The gearbox diff sits nicely in the recess of the subframe. The output shafts are in a reasonable position and the engine and gearbox mounts even line up with the original mounting holes. There's even plenty of room around the K04 turbo. Something has to be done about the oil filter though, so out comes the engine to drain the fluids and remove the filter. With that out of the way, the engine is in position, hopefully for the last time, and after a bit of fiddling and adjustment, I'm really pleased with how the engine is sitting in the subframe. So I move on to the engine mounts. After reinstalling the original TT right hand mount, it looks like a simple job to pick up the TF mounting holes on a cast aluminium arm. I'm using the base of the MGTF engine mount 
an offcut of roll cage tube and some 4mm plate to make a mount to bridge the gap between the arm and the stock TT mount. Forgetting that wood is most definitely flammable, the tube is TIG welded to the base. A 4mm plate is cut to fit the mount and then welded to the top of the tube. A reinforcement is added either side of the tube to prevent flex and it's painted in a matte black engine enamel. Now I move on to the gearbox mount and a slightly more complicated gap to bridge. A few minutes of arts and crafts time makes some templates and gives a general direction for the mount. Once it's knocked together in 4mm plate, the engine is suspended for the first time. I had no suitable M12 fine pitch bolts, so a wheel bolt and a modified drive shaft bolt had to do for now. A reinforcement is added to the gearbox mount to stop any twist. The engine needs a steady bracket or torque mount, and initially the bottom of the auxiliary bracket looked good, but I like to keep things simple so I fabricated an L-shaped bracket with a gusset to fit between the block and the subframe, as seen in the bottom of these shots. As engine swaps go, this one is simple so far. It's not without its challenges, requiring some custom drive shafts and modified gear linkages, but these are not huge mountains to climb. As always, please click the thumbs up, hit subscribe and share if you enjoy the series. Thanks for watching.